I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. Welcome to my channel. Rug hooking uses strips of felted wool in different colors to create a design or a picture. These strips of wool range in width and they are often referred to as worms. Today I wanted to talk to you about some rug hooking basics. I'm going to show you some different ways that you can cut your wool into the worms or strips so that you can hook. The most primitive way that you can cut your strips is to tear them. So to tear them, you just want to use the scissors to start a cut and then you just rip the fabric. And as you can see, it leaves kind of a little bit of a fray on the edge which gives you a more primitive look. And usually also the torn strips are wider. This hooked rug here, the pumpkin was hooked with the torn strips. These worms are about a half inch wide and it gives you some more primitive look. And also there are some of the wider strips in different places throughout the rug. There's some there, there's a little bit there, a little bit here. It gives it a little bit more texture and dimension to the look of the finished project. But the wider torn worms are harder to pull through the foundation fabric. When you hook with the wider torn worms, you do get a lot more area hooked faster because you cover more ground with the wider worms. The next way to cut your worms is to use a pair of scissors and to just cut them this is obviously pretty easy but it's hard to be consistent with the width of your strips I wanted to show you a couple of projects where the worms were cut at different widths so you could see this one has a few different widths but all the widths are very similar whereas this project here this one is a free pattern in my free resource library and you can really see here where it was hooked using some really small strips and some wider strips and really really tiny strips in here this was just really using up a bunch of small scraps that were left over from various other projects Another way that you can cut your strips is by using a rotary cutter and a ruler. So I line up my the edge of the wool along the line, the inch marks on the rulers, and then I want a quarter inch cuts, number eight worms. Then I line up the my clear ruler on the three-fourths mark here on this next inch line, and then just cut and then I can just slide this down to the half inch mark and then just keep going sliding it down a quarter of an inch each time I used this method when I hooked this rug occasionally my ruler would slip and I ended up with not all of my strips being exactly perfect and exactly a quarter of an inch and there are places where I had to fill in a little bit to make it work but I think it still turned out okay. Probably the easiest way to cut your worms is to use a cutting tool. Uh, these are specially designed for cutting your wool strips for rug hooking. This one is an older, it's a Rigby. And so you clamp it onto a table and then you can push your wool through and turn the crank and it will cut your strips. They usually come with different size cutters. As you can see, this one has, so it will cut several strips at once. You can see the cutters in there and you can get, the cutters are interchangeable. This is a number eight. You can change this out and put in a different width. I have the strip cutter clamped onto my table. So I have my piece of felted wool here and it has a straight edge and I'm going to run the straight edge along the this little bumper here and then I will just turn 
the handle, crank the handle on the cutter, and as this turns, it will feed the wool through and cut the strips at the same time. Using the strip cutter will create nice even worms for you to use when hooking. I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.